But I really think that if you're going to do anything in a room at home, even halfway serious, then you should put a patch bay in. And I'm going to explain to you the difference between the kind of patch bays you buy at and the kind of patch bays that I would recommend for you. And when you're done, you're going to be able to wire your own studio together. But I want you to get the picture, and I want you to first understand what's so important about this patch bay, what does it do for me, all of these things, so that, you know, we can make uh, sense out of what comes ahead. You win the lottery, you get all of the stuff that you've been dreaming about. And the truck comes up and delivers it, and they bring it all in, and the boxes are piled here. Now, if we take everything out of the box and pile it against this wall here with the front of the units facing the wall and the back of the units facing us, that's a patch bay. Just picture what you're looking at, the back of everything that's in your studio. All those plugs and plugs of different sizes. Three-pin XLRs, quarter-inch uh, mono, quarter-inch stereo, or quarter-inch unbalanced, quarter-inch balance. That's a patch bay. The only problem with that patch bay is that all of those plugs are different. So if I want to plug this into that, I've got to get an XLR three-pin thing to go on that side, but it's got to go into here with an RCA plug. So now I've got to either make up a special wire that'll do that, or I've got to get adapters that are going to adapt the three down to that. And then I change my mind, I've got to have this quarter-inch go to the RCA. Okay, now I've got to have a quarter-inch to the RCA. Whereas if right in the beginning, when you put all your equipment in place, you put in a patch bay that plugs everything in your studio into this patch bay, and then what you have in front of you is the same kind of plugs, and right there in one place. It's not, you gotta go around the back, take the thing apart to unplug this so you can plug it in there. It's right there in front of you, you can just patch, poop, and it, you've changed your mind. It's got 96 patch points on it. And if you look at page, the bottom of the page is a picture of the patch bay that's in that room. Okay, it's just a bunch of holes. All devices fit in a 19-inch rack space. If you were to buy a rack with the rack rails that you're going to screw stuff into, it will be a 19-inch opening. If you're going to build racks like we've done here, you better make it a 19-inch opening. Then the rack rail fits in and everything fits perfectly, so the screws fit in.